Hello everyone and welcome to another hands on tech video. On today's episode, I want to talk about a project that I recently did to embed uh, Microsoft Teams chats in your SharePoint pages. So the idea was to create kind of a LinkedIn chat to include your most recent chats on Microsoft Teams directly on your SharePoint pages. So whenever you are working outside of Microsoft Teams directly in SharePoint in your internet or when you are reading a news post inside of your internet, if you want to type uh, something to someone about that post, you can do that uh, without leaving the context of what you are reading. So the idea was to create something similar to what you see here in this image, um, this is LinkedIn and this is the uh, LinkedIn chat uh, and the goal was to bring Teams in a similar format to the SharePoint pages. So this was the original challenge. Uh, I've thought about it for quite some time. I had the idea of custom build a solution uh, using Microsoft Graph, but uh, I never had the time to invest in something like that. And the other day, while I was reading the uh, updates for uh, Microsoft Teams, I saw this awesome feature popping out. Um, and this basically allows you to access to a page uh, in Edge and see the chat window where that page was mentioned. So basically when you open a chat in Microsoft Teams, you see the link, you click in the link and that page opens in the browser and next to it, side by side, you see the conversation. So you have the context of the message that was, sh that was shared while at the same time you are reading the site. This is great and this took me uh, to further investigate what was behind uh, this solution inside of Edge, and um, I realized what you see over here is actually a browser version of a chat window uh, of Microsoft Teams. And as you can see, there is a back button that, is, that allows you to access to all your chats uh, using the same interface. So what I did was um, I got the URL for this window and I built uh, a custom solution for uh, SharePoint. So SharePoint framework extensions are um, customization entry points that Microsoft gives you to add extra components uh, inside of SharePoint. In this particular case, I used an application customizer and I took advantage of the footer area to include the chat component. So basically um, what I did was an application customizer uh, that adds the framework extension to the footer of the modern page. So whenever the extension is loaded into the tenant or into a site collection, you will see the Microsoft Teams there and it will open and you will be able to access to um, Microsoft Teams. I will not cover the details of the technical implementation of this in this video. I already did that in the PNP community call. So I will link that video down below. And if you want to access and see how this was implemented and what are the technologies and the components that were used behind the scenes to implement something like this, you can watch that video. It's uh, linked down below or I will add the link somewhere in here. So this is what I did. Now let's see how you can also get this installed in your system and um, what needs to be done to get Microsoft Teams popping out in your SharePoint pages. To get started and to get the files for the solution, you can either go to my GitHub and download and compile and modify the project according to your own uh, needs, or uh, you can go to my blog and download the pre-compiled version of the solution that is ready to upload into your SharePoint app catalog. Both links 
are also in the description of this video but um, in case you want to build it yourself you have everything that you need in this um, github repo and here is a brief explanation of how it works with a nice animation that already shows uh, what you will get in your system so this is how you get the solution i'm providing the uh, source code on github and i'm also providing the actual uh, compiled file in my blog so you have two different uh, paths to implement and to add this to your tenant once you get the sppkg file the first thing you need to do is upload the actual package to your app catalog i will install it globally in this uh, tenant and this means that the solution will become available in all modern site collections. But if you want to uh, experiment this in a separate site collection, um, you will be able to do it also by creating a site collection app catalog and uploading the solution to that specific app catalog. So what I will do now is uh, upload the solution to the app catalog in SharePoint. All right, solution was selected and I will wait for it to finish the uh, upload. And once it gets uploaded, and as I told you, I want to make it available to the entire organization, to all sites uh, immediately, I will check this option and this will add the uh, entry for the solution to the tenant wide extensions that will enable it automatically everywhere. Also, this solution makes use of a Microsoft Graph endpoint to get the current user profile picture. So it gives um, personalized um, interface to each uh, user and the permission to use that from SharePoint needs to be um, enabled and needs to be granted. And that information is also available in here. So I will hit the deploy button and as you can see everything went well everything uh, was deployed no errors so the last thing to do before we go to a sharepoint uh, page to see how things look like is to enable the permission in the api access so this one is pending is simply uh, user read you can see that it was requested by the chat embed client side solution this is the solution to embed the uh, Microsoft Teams chat into the pages. Uh, so I will hit the approve, approve one more time. And this became uh, immediately added to the tenant. So now I can consume this endpoint specifically for um, SharePoint framework solutions. Now, if I go to a modern SharePoint site uh, as this one that I have here, and if I refresh this page, you will see that the chat will appear um, in this section and it showed immediately the profile picture is coming directly from microsoft graph so this is this matches what you see in here and this text microsoft teams uh, i hard coded it in the project so if you want to um, change what it's written here you can go to the project and you can write whatever you want in here then uh, when you click um, it opens and expands like the linkedin one does and um, if you are not yet authenticated uh, in the browser in microsoft teams um, it will ask you to authenticate that's what we will do now and as soon as it authenticates the chat will start loading so one important thing in here, uh, as you can see, the chat is displayed in black and that's because I'm using the dark theme on Windows. This integration automatically gets the theme you have and it applies it also um, to the integration. So it, in this particular case, because I'm using the dark uh, theme on Windows, it's displaying in dark. If you are using the light theme, then you will see this in gray um, with white accent. So 
This is the main thing that you should have in consideration. Since I did the first demo in the PNP community called Microsoft actually removed some of the things that were here that didn't work quite well. There was a link at the bottom saying opening Microsoft Teams that didn't work. I don't know why, but Microsoft removed it from this solution. But well, from here now I can access to the existing chats uh, in my tenant and um, I can even create new ones straight from this interface. All I have here is a mini version of Microsoft Teams that allows me to easily access to the chats. And just to prove that what you are seeing here is actually uh, what I have in Microsoft Teams, I'm opening Teams here. Uh, next to the SharePoint page and you will be able to see the same conversations on both. So here you have it. As you can see, I have Adele and I have uh, Diego. And if I go here, I have Adele and I have Diego and also uh, a conversation uh, with myself. So everything I have in Microsoft Teams, now I have um, inside of SharePoint. Then if I want to close this, um, I can do it easily, I just need to minimize it and it will continue to live uh, down there. This is great, this is taking advantage of the application customizer and the footer, however, if you have a footer enabled in your site, um, it might create an overlap with the content that you have in this side of the footer. So this is nothing that we can control. Um, if you want to have this integration, especially in uh, smaller screens, it may cause an overlap um, with the content that you have in the footer. Other than that, it works uh, perfectly and you can open and close it whenever you want. And you can even um, Continue with it open or closed while you navigate uh, in your uh, intranet. As the page does not reload, this uh, component uh, is consistent in keeps uh, the same state in the page. So you can continue to write, continue to navigate inside of your site collection, copying and pasting URLs and type um, the message as you want inside of Microsoft uh, Teams. So just to finish um, this demo, uh, I will type here to Adele. And now let's see if Adele already got uh, the message. Well, she should because the message is already in here. And um, same thing uh, in here. So if you like this solution, make sure you like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, uh, if possible, go and follow me in the social so you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. And if you have suggestions to improve this, uh, feel free to write in the comments or fork this GitHub repo and bring this solution to the next level. Bye-bye.